Hi guys, it's me now. Welcome back. Um, I was watching one of my older videos the other night, Blessings, and I had done this multiple straight pour technique with little five ounce Dixie cups. So that's what we're gonna play with again today because it looked really, really cool and I wanna do it again. <laughs> so this is a 24 by 30 inch gallery wrapped canvas from Artist's Loft. Okay, let's move this out of the way for a moment and I'll show you my colors. This one is Liquitex Basics Bright Aqua Green. And to this I have added a little bit of satin enamels in pure white and some 24 karat gold. So this is a beautiful light pale green color now. Very pretty. Okay, next one is Artist's Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue. Beautiful color. Very sparkly, very metallic. Hello, Gail. <laughs> The next one we have is a uh, Liquitex Heavy Body Professional Series. This one is their Deep Turquoise. Beautiful, beautiful color. Really love that. Okay, uh, next is Liquitex Basics in Dioxazine Purple. Love how deep and dark this gets, which is really, really nice because a lot of the other purples that you use, they lighten up or there are this weird kind of really light lavendery thing, which I don't want. I want the dark purple. Okay. So this one is Liquitex Basics in Thalo Blue. I have two cups of this. My paint is all mixed with Liquitex Gloss Medium and Varnish and Floetrol and the paint and some water. Several of you are asking me about how I add the varnish to the pouring medium and I don't. It's one jar, <laughs> comes already mixed up, Liquitex Gloss Medium and Varnish. Um, somebody had mentioned the other day though that they've changed the name of it to just something, I think gloss medium, I think is what they said. So I'm not adding any additional varnish. It's already in there in the pouring medium. Um, next one we have is Deco Art Americana Decor Satin Enamels in Pure White. And to this I have added just a tiny bit of Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics in their soft gold. So it's a very pretty kind of honey colored. It's not pure white anymore. It's got a bit of gold in it which is, I'm happy about. Okay, and we have our Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold, leaving amount on amount. Okay, so what I wanna do is I want to fill up my cup with these and we're gonna do little straight pours on the canvas. So let's start. I'm gonna put a tiny bit of gold in first. I think we're gonna do these as a straight pour. Why not, right? Uh, let's start with some of the Thalo Blue. Dirty cup. Yep, yes, dirty cup. <laughs> I'm gonna put some of the, actually I'm gonna put some of the Bright Aqua Green in there first. Pouring it from up high so it's right into the center. And now some of that Metallic Cobalt Blue. Just a smidge of white. Put some more gold in there. Hello, Gail. <laughs> and some purple. Okay, and I'm gonna put a little bit more blue on top. Okay. So, let's pour this. We're probably gonna do five of these. So I'm just gonna put a tiny puddle of gold. And we're gonna pour it right into there. Straight pour from up high. Here we go. Okay. That's cool. There's a lot of white in there. So I don't want to use as much white next time. So we're going to just fill this up again. Some blue. A little bit of purple this time. A little bit of gold. our deep turquoise. I'm just going to put a very small amount of white in there. And some of that metallic cobalt. And a little bit of bright aqua green. I think I want to put some purple on top of that. Okay. Let's pour a little bit of purple on this one. 
Okay, here we go. Ready? Straight pour from a pie. catching it because I don't want all of that stuff in the middle, which I seem to be getting anyway. I'm just going to turn that into a swirl. Okay. One more time. Nice thick layer of blue. I'm going to go in with the deep turquoise. A little bit of white. Some purple, some metallic cobalt, and a little bit of gold from way up high. Woo! That was not nice, Gail. Okay. <laughs> Let's pour this and then I'll clean that up. Let's put a little bit of this down. Alright, ready? Blowing like crazy today. Okay, let's see. All right, that was better than I expected. All right, I'm gonna get a new cup because this one has a lot of white in the bottom. Those are looking cool so far, though. Okay, phthalo blue. Let's go purple this time. A little bit of gold. Gail likes gold, apparently. <laughs> Some of the deep turquoise. Just a smidge of white. And some gold from up high. Okay. Let's do this one over here. go. That's a lot of blue in there. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to put just a tiny bit of white in there. And a tiny bit of gold. I'm going to put some purple on top of that. I'm going to put it right into the center. Yeah. Because we need the wind messing things up. <laughs> okay, some more blue, some of our metallic cobalt, some of the bright aqua green, some gold. Ooh, that's a lot of gold. Okay, and some more blue on top. Okay. Ready? Okay. So that's five. Let's do one more. I'm going to put a tiny bit of gold in the bottom this time first. Then some of the phthalo blue. Purple. Metallic cobalt blue, a little bit of white, a little bit of that bright aqua green, and I'm going to put some of this on top. I'm going to go over here. Ready? Let's wait for Gail to finish blowing. <laughs> yeah, right? Here we go. Hello, bird. All right. Um, this is looking pretty good. I think that's enough. I'm just going to put some phthalo blue around some of them. Around all of them as like a flow extender. Actually, I think I want to go around them with the white first. 
and then I might put some blue on there. I'm not going to thin this out because the the last one that I was watching, Blessings, I didn't thin anything out and it worked fine. So <laughs> let's sort of test that and see how it goes. All right, now I'm going to put some blue around it. Okay. Um, I think I need a little bit more blue up here. We want to make sure we have a decent amount to cover our corners. Let's spread that out a little bit. So there's a lot of paint on here. But, you know, I've been... Lately, if you've been watching recently, you know, flow extenders have sort of been giving me issues <laughs> if I didn't have enough on the corners. And I've been, like, you know, kind of obsessing about thinning it out. And then I was watching this video last night when I was, you know, still fairly new, just oblivious, just pouring, having fun, and it worked. So, <laughs> we'll see. I want to test that again. Okay, and there is a lot of paint on here, so probably a lot of this is going to get tilted off. And we're going to torch it. All right. Let's torch it. Tilt this baby and see what happens, okay? Feels like there's a little bit too much white right there. I'm just gonna put a little bit of blue around there. Okay. Alright. Well, that's pretty. See, I love straight pores because you see all this stuff come up over time. Which one was the first one we did? That one? Or that one? I don't know. But they're really cool. That's very pretty though. At first I thought that one was too light, but it actually looks really cool. Okay, let's tilt. Okay, I'm not liking that all the white on there. I wish I hadn't used the white as the flow extender because there's a lot of it. I'm gonna take some of that off. We're starting to get cells, which is good. Let's see if I can get some of this off. Not too much white there for me. And in doing this, we're allowing this top side closest to me to stretch out and open up, and we're gonna see some beautiful cells coming out there, I think. Okay, there's a couple of things bugging me. This is bugging me, and this line is bugging me, and I'm not sure I like this. So, I think I want to put a couple more little pores on there. A couple more cups. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to start with a little bit of phthalo. A little bit of gold. Some of the dioxazine purple. Metallic cobalt. Just a drop of white. Deep turquoise. A little bit more phthalo blue. I think we're going to put this one right here. Keep 
that like that. I drip there and there. Okay. I'm going to pour another one. I'm going to start with some of the metallic cobalt this time. Drop of gold. Some of that dark, deep turquoise. Purple. Just a drop of white. Put some of that bright aqua green in there this time. And some of the metallic cobalt on top. Okay. I want to do this one over here. do one more maybe over here <clears throat> and that's gonna be the last one okay we're gonna start with the deep turquoise this time a little bit of gold some phthalo blue some of the bright aqua green a little bit of white some purple on top of that okay Right over here. Okay. Yep. Here we go. Ah, Gail, come on. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Okay. All right. Tilt this baby a little bit. Oh, let's torch it real quick. Okay, now it's tilted. paint off. This way, and then we're going to go down off that corner. 
look at this for a second. This is cool. I like this part though. I like this part now. The only thing that's bugging me is right here. So let's see if we can't get some of this off. Find the way to your paint. Center and down. I'm lining it up over here so it can slide off that way. down towards the center and I think we're going to be done. Okay. That's pretty cool. Hmm? So that's interesting. It's very different than what I've been doing lately with the ring pours and the comb wrecking and but you know it's interesting to go back and and watch what you've done previously and sort of incorporate what you used to do with what you're doing now and you know mix it up a little bit. So it's pretty cool. I think this is going to dry very neat because there are a lot of beautiful lines in here and there's a lot of cells coming up. I'm going to wipe my hands off and we'll torch it one more time. So that's pretty cool. And uh, I think it's gonna dry really neat. I'll see you guys when it's dry. Okay, so this is a few days later. This one turned out really cool. Beautiful, beautiful parts in here. Really beautiful lines. Some very cute cells. Beautiful colors. I hope you guys can see the turquoise because it's really shimmery and bright. And that bright aqua green that we mixed with the gold. This part's so pretty, I love that. <laughs> it's a gorgeous line. Some beautiful cells. Guys can see the purple. Really neat stuff. Very cool. So it's pretty neat. This was the multiple straight pours. And we actually did twice. <laughs> I started out with five and then I wasn't crazy about all the white that I put on as a flow extender. So we did three more little pours and there they are kind of glowing in the sunlight. I hope you guys can see it. Anyways, this was pretty fun. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. And, uh, you know, thanks for hanging out with me. I'd really appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button. That would be awesome. And the bell with the all notifications. And then you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. Have an awesome, awesome day. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Bye-bye.